Evans. Good morning, Washington. On your side. And Good Morning Washington continues now at 10 minutes after the hour. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. Time for traffic and weather every 10 minutes. And we're going to start with neighborhood weather right now. Adam Kasky live in Northeast D.C. And I understand you're going to science camp today, Adam. You're right, Doug. We are at science camp today. Seek to be exact. It is the summer, summer engineering experience for kids. Now, this is sort of a pilot program in terms of the summer camp, and we'll talk about it in just one second. I have a few people here with me to share uh, their experiences with it. But first, let's talk about our forecast locally around here. Got to squeeze in the weather right now. 84 and we can't rule out an isolated shower. So we're at Seek, which takes place here in Northeast DC. And I'm joined by Matt Miller of SAE International and Frank Moore of NSBE, National Society of Black Engineers, yeah. correct? And it's a joint partnership between your two organizations. So tell us exactly uh, together what you hope the kids get out of this. What's the point? Uh, we actually want to give the kids an introduction to the science, technology, engineering, math fields. You know, being a student-run organization, the National Society of Engineers, and um, we have a great partner with the Society of Automotive Engineers that's providing a curriculum. I was going to say, this is your curriculum. Tell us about, briefly about that curriculum. Our curriculum is basically based on the fact that we want students to learn by doing, not by sitting and listening. And our students are building like engineers where they're building yeah. cars, skimmer boats, jet or steel can rovers, wherever the case may be. They're designing them themselves, making these things move, and working together as a team, which is the most important thing about being an engineer. I love it. It's interesting stuff. Uh, they're making little airplanes that will you know, spin and fly through the air. It's interesting. Um, so that's the latest from here. We'll tell you if you want to get involved in this next summer later in the show how to do that so stay tuned now to lisa with the traffic i want to get involved that sounds like <laughs> a lot of fun you can make your own car lisa okay let's do it we'll make it fuel efficient though mm. yeah, of course and something like the jetsons would fly over the traffic <laughs> do we need to fly over traffic right now nah not really i'll show you a couple quick cameras of beltway traffic From the WJLA Broadcast Center, this is Good Morning Washington on your side. Good morning, meteorologist Adam Kasky. We'll first have the forecast before Lisa. We're live with neighborhood weather at the Summer Engineering Experience for Kids in Northeast DC. We're going to show off some of their cool gadgets and the forecast coming up. It is 6.40 on this Tuesday morning. Time for a look at traffic and weather every 10 minutes. Let's start with neighborhood weather now. Meteorologist Adam Kasky live at the Friendship Edison School in Northeast D.C. It's uh, time for Science Camp. A lot of excited kids with you there. Yeah, a lot of excited and very knowledgeable kids, even showing off the spinners that they put on their little tin, tin rovers here that they made. Uh, first, let's talk about the forecast, then we'll show off some more of these gadgets here. Right now, outside with Storm Chaser 7 in Northeast, we're checking in at 65. Low humidity as well. Forecast for today shows partly to mostly cloudy, and it looks like our high temperature will be about 84, and we'll hit that around 3 p.m. Maybe an isolated shower west of town. So I'm joined here by Shamara, Shamara. Excuse me, I've been getting that wrong all morning. Shamara. We have Ariana and Paris here now. Ariana, tell me what your favorite project, favorite part of the engineering campus is by making a jet toy. Now, did you make this one? No. Okay, well, you made a different one. Let's show this one off first. And here we go. We're going to let it go. Now, watch the speed these have. Okay, one, two, three, let her rip. Green light. Woo! Whoa, hey. Good job. It made it all the way over and crashed into the green cord. Now, this is all put together by a partnership with SAE International and NSBE, National Society of Black Engineers. True. I've got Carl Mack here, the executive director. Now, tell us what uh, the kids gain out of this partnership. Well, they get an exposure to engineering, something uh, most of us who went through the field of engineering, who have become engineers, didn't get an opportunity to get into much later in life. So to be able to reach down uh, with the partnership of the Society of Automotive Engineers to grades three through five at this point and expose them to engineering is something, it's a dream come true for all of us. Kids, I want to tell you, I wish I had this type of camp when I was your age, and I'm not kidding. So, all right, now everybody say goodbye and say hello to Lisa Bain for us. Hi, Lisa Bain! Hi, Lisa Bain! Hi, Lisa Bain. Good morning. <laughs> Woo, we're all so proud of all of you. Way to go. Woo hey, our future looks bright on 95 in Virginia. I'm going to show you from News Chopper 7 traffic leaving Route 1.